What was something you saw you were definitely not supposed to see? As a middle schooler, I picked up a book at the library, flipped through the pages and found an application for a replacement birth certificate for some old man. It had every detail about his personal identification on it, so naturally I took it home thinking, I'll just hold on to this in case I ever need to assume a fake identity by pretending to be an 80-year-old man and flee the country. My mom found it and had to explain to me that no, we don't steal people's identities. That's some Jason Bourne level shit for a middle schooler. When I started a new job, someone had left a bunch of our files on the computer I was given. I opened one up, not sure what it was, and I got to see every employee's salary in the company. Even the CEO. The next day, it was gone. My boss realized his mistake and logged into my system and deleted the files. It was a memorable experience. Something similar happened twice to me. I'm not in hour and I grabbed a binder off the shelf that appeared to be empty that I was going to use for prepping an RFP. Printed Excel spreadsheet of every employee's salary. Five years later, my boss sends me a budget spreadsheet for the entire team including my peers. I'm making my own adjustments for my team and realize there are hidden columns. Unhide. And that's when I asked for a raise. When I was a PA I used to get sent spreadsheets from everywhere from my manager which I then had to send out to the wider team. I always checked for hidden columns but also learned about hidden tabs. One time I almost sent out a spreadsheet to the wider team which had performance feedback per person and their ratings from their manager and their peers. All this information was in a hidden tab. That could have been so damn messy. Silly hour. What do you mean by hidden tab? A hidden sheet in the spreadsheet? Yeah, right click where the tab sheets are at the bottom of an Excel document. If unhide is selectable, it means there are hidden sheets in the document. And then there's the very hidden tabs you can only access by changing their property in the V editor. Freshman year of college, walk into the kitchen area late at night and there's my girlfriend sitting on the counter, making out with one of my good friends. I just left quietly without them noticing and cut off all contact with both of them. So, pretty sure I wasn't supposed to see that. Edit, saw them both together about 20 years later at Costco, so I guess it worked out for them. Edit 2, Holy Upvotes Batman. Expected this to be buried. To answer some questions about leaving quietly, I was just in shock at first and most likely stoned, hence the late night kitchen trip. I remember watching them for a minute and then just being like a, hey, duck them and leaving. It went from he is groping my girl to look at these two shitty people I don't need in my life real quick. And at the time it seemed important to not give them a chance to spew excuses to me and feel better about it because it wouldn't matter what they said. And the longer I didn't talk to them, somehow the more cathartic it became. If it happened to me today, I don't know I'd manage that. That said, it was a long time ago and I hold no long-term ill feelings toward them. In the big picture of awful things people do to each other, it sucked but lots of people have worse stuff done to them all the time and I ended up with a pretty great life. My reaction when seeing they were still together was more like huh, would you look at that? Did they at least tell you at some point? Didn't they wonder why you froze them both out? We had the same friend group so it got passed on to them pretty quickly that I saw them. Those friends had my back and also stopped hanging out with them, which was nice. When I was 14 and friend hosted a birthday party at his house with all the parents invited. Needed to use the restroom but the main one was occupied so my friend told me I can use the one in his mom's bedroom. As I walked up to the door I could hear somebody in there so I decided to wait until whoever was in there was finished. A good 10 minutes later, my friend's mom, who was hosting the party, and another good friend's stepfather walk out and see me standing there all confused. They asked what I was doing there and I just said I was waiting to use the bathroom. Surprisingly they played it cool and just said I can use it now and walked off. He didn't push you out a window afterwards? I used to work nights at a manufacturing plant. I went to the bathroom one night, picked out my favorite stall and sat on the toilet to spend the next 10 minutes contemplating life. After a few minutes, a male janitor walked in and started cleaning the bathroom. Another minute later, another male janitor came in to help. They were talking to each other in Spanish and then started kissing near the sinks, not realizing anyone was in the bathroom. I just sat there silently for a while not knowing what to do. After another minute or two of heavy kissing between the two, I decided to make a few noises so that they knew they weren't alone. My toilet seat creaked when I moved. They both stopped their romance session, looked at my stall, giggled, and ran out of the bathroom leaving all of their cleaning stuff behind. I quickly cleaned up, 
flushed and ran out. I actually never saw those same janitors again. I was about 8 or 9 and my parents were going to be out of town so they had me and siblings stay with a family from our church. Once we got to the house, which was really nice BTW, they had one rule, you can play wherever you want but the basement is off limits. Me being the little bastard that I was snuck down their first chance I got and was supremely disappointed to only find rows and rows of plants growing under lights. So I'm assuming as an 8 or 9 year old, you didn't know it was weed. So when did you figure it out exactly? 15 years later, in bed sleeping. You, you, you. Wakes up it was pot. The peasant. At the diner. He didn't pay his check. Emperor's new groove never gets old. A long time friend of mine's dad was showing me pics of a car he was restoring. He accidentally pulled up nude pics of my friend's mom instead. He looked awkward for a minute. He never said anything and then just started looking at car pics like it never happened. That's when you show him some nudes of your girlfriend so it won't be awkward. Hey, your daughter makes that same face. Let me see if I have a pic. No, sorry, that's your wife again. Hang on. I have your daughter here too. Whoops, that's your mom. Feisty old gal, but not what we're looking for. My six-year-old cousin asked me if I wanted some chewing gum. I said sure, if she has some. She then goes to her mother's purse and takes out two packages of condoms and asks me, what do you want, strawberries or banana? Next thing I know, I'm shoving Durex packages in her mother's purse saying we should firstly ask your mom before going through her things. So the kid doesn't stop here, she takes the purse, goes in the kitchen where all the family was reunited and asked her mother, mom, can I have some gum? Her mom says she doesn't have any. The freaking girl takes the condoms out of the purse and says, sure you do, I want the strawberries ones please. Imagine her mother's embarrassment. Man, I remember emptying my mom's purse out on her bed one time when I was a kid, and some condoms fell out. I'm being inquisitive, asking her what they are, I probably open one? Ike. Anyways, she claims they're balloons. And blows one up and ties it off. And that's how I got a balloon one summer day. When I was about 4 to 5 years old I watched Eddie Murphy, raw in its entirety around the corner from the living room while my parents were watching it. I was super quiet and they were laughing their ass off so they didn't notice. I learned all sorts of cool new words. I saw an employee's check stub that he dropped. He had been there for a month and was making what I made after my first year and was not a very good worker. I got a raise. He wanted you to find it, so you could get a raise. What a bro. One Christmas Eve I couldn't sleep at all so I went to the kitchen to get some water or something and out in the living room were my parents setting out presents and eating the cookies I had left out. They said that Santa was running late and was in such a big hurry that he just dropped off the presents and asked them to put them out for him. I have a similar experience where my mom refused to admit that Santa wasn't real. She had made the two, and from, labels on her computer to avoid us comparing Santa's handwriting to hers, but she accidentally left the program up when we came down the next morning. She insisted that Santa had used her computer. When I was little, my father set a password on a computer I was using for playing games. I wanted him to type the password, while I was away, but set a camera to record it. Hid it behind a pile of books. The trick was, the camera back in the days was only able to record for 30 seconds, so I had to call my father and run out of the room, so he could type it as quickly as possible. It stopped filming just as he hit enter. This reminded me of the time I pulled off some Mission Impossible level shit, at least to teenage me, with my dad. I put the slightest amount of some face cream I found in the bathroom, not oily, but left the faintest residue, on the TV remote buttons, and got him to put in his pin hash to unlock his blocked channels on the cable box for me. I could see his fingerprints on the buttons and later while unsupervised, used that to figure out his code. 